it's your girl Francisco and welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And if you're already subscribed, well thanks for coming back. Today I'm doing the Power of Makeup Challenge that was done by Indigni Tutorials here on YouTube. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So just taking some alcohol with a cotton pad, I'm rubbing it over my eyebrow and this will just collect up any moisture that it may have. Now to start the covering process, I'm taking Elmer's glue stick and just rubbing it all in my eyebrow. And I'm doing little circular motions and this will help get as much product on your eyebrow as possible. Now just taking a little comb, I'm combing them diagonal. Some people do comb them up, but since my eyebrows are relatively thick, doing them in a diagonal motion will help them lay a little bit more flatter. So once your eyebrow is relatively dry, um, you just want to repeat the process. I personally did it about four times and the thicker your eyebrows, the more times you're going to want to do it. This is just going to ensure your eyebrows lay flat and smooth. Now I'm just setting that glue stick with a super white powder by Ben Nye. So the first product I'm going in with is Clown White and this is a very opaque kind of pasty consistency. So this is really going to camouflage your eyebrow. Once you've placed the product, you now want to set it using that super white powder by Ben 9 and then just brush off the excess. So now I'm going in with my lightest foundation shade and this is a cream foundation by Mayron. I'm just going to apply this over my eyebrow. I'm going to follow that using the Black Opal True Color Foundation Sticks and this is in the shade Heavy Honey and this is going to be my base foundation color. Now to blend that together, I am using a powder puff and this is that regular cloth like powder puff. I just really like it the way it blends the product together. So now for a darker shade, I'm taking the shade Hazelnut by Black Opal once again and just applying this on my jawline to help conceal and create a shadow and a more feminine like jaw structure. Going back in with the Mayron Cream Foundation, I'm going to apply this under my eye to highlight. And as you can see, I'm really taking it up and this is just going to pull the whole face up and more feminine like. I'm going to take that same product and use it to highlight the center of my forehead. Going back in with hazelnut, I'm just going to use this to contour my nose. So now just to contour the normal areas that I contour, which is the hairline, the temple area, and also my cheekbones. Just keep in mind that I am doing drag makeup. However, if you did want to do these type of techniques on your day to day, you can obviously use like a cream foundation kit or concealers and just apply it the same way I'm applying this. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit more heavy and a little bit more product. And once I've reached my desired intensity of my contour, I'm just taking this wedged sponge and marrying it into the highlight. So to create a little bit more depth into the contour, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa and applying this to the very bottom of that contour and then I'm just blending it out with that brush. Now to ensure everything is seamless and blended, I'm going to go back in with the wedge sponge and just go over my contour. Taking that same Dark Cocoa, I'm applying this to the hairline and temple area. So 
So now to set all the creams we've just applied, you want to set it using powders. So I'm taking the Ben 9 Super White Powder and going to use this to set my highlighted areas, which is under my eyes and a little bit on my forehead. And to set the rest of my face, I'm taking the Cody Airspun Powder and I'm just going to take a powder puff and set the entire face. Once you've set your face, you just want to dust off any excess powder. So to move on to our eyes, I'm just sketching out my new crease using the Revlon Tiramisu Lip Pencil. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out and set it using Raw Sienna from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. So the reason why we cover our eyebrows in the beginning is to create more eye space and also to sketch out the eyes to our desired shape. Now to diffuse the crease a little bit more, I'm taking burnt orange and a little bit of red ochre. I'm just going to blend that out. So now to give it that cut crease effect, I'm going to go ahead and take Cypress Umber and apply this to the crease. So now that I've cut my crease, I'm going to take that same Cypress Umber shade and flick my brush up. And this is just going to help it blend out and make it more diffused. So since this is a drag look, it wouldn't be drag without a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to go in with the NYX Crystal Liner in the shade Crystal Gold. And this is just going to give the glitter something to stick to. And I am doing it in sections just because I didn't want that liquid liner to dry out. So I'm going to go in with the liner and then I'm going to go in with that glitter. And the glitter I'm using is just a mineral glitter that I have. And it's in the shade Cheers. And it's just a gold glitter with rainbow reflex. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm taking the NYC liquid liner and drawing a wing. Now to bring some color back into my face that these setting powders may have taken away, I'm going to take the MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish in Dark Tan. Now to further intensify my contour, I'm taking the darkest shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and applying this to my cheekbones. Now since we laid that cream contour color before, this is just going to help it look more dramatic and more intensified. So now just applying a little bit of blush from the Morphe Brushes Blush Palette. Now to further intensify my highlight, I'm going to take the Cody Airspun Powder and apply this under my eyes and a little bit under my contour. Moving on to my lower lash line, I'm taking the same colors I used for my crease and apply this to the lower lash line. However, I am doing it a little bit below my natural lower lash line and I'm going to draw out a new lower lash line using the Morphe Gel Liner in the shade Slate.
So I went ahead and applied some lower lashes off camera. I also filled in the gap from my natural lower lash line to my new lower lash line using Clown Y, and this will just give the appearance of larger eyes. So moving on to eyebrows, I'm taking the black opal foundation stick in the shade Hazelnut and sketching out some new eyebrows. So now to finish off my eyes, I'm going to take some lashes. I couldn't find the drag lashes that I wanted to use for this look. So I went ahead and just stacked about four to five pairs and I am going to be flaring the ends up a little bit just to create a more cat-like eye. So for lips, I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit in the shade Court. I'm just going to line my lips and then follow it using the liquid lipstick. Now to add a little bit of a glow, I'm taking the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop and applying this to the highest points of my cheekbones. And I'm going to take that same highlighter and apply it down the center of my nose. And to finish off the look, I'm just going to use some Max Fix Plus. And that's going to conclude the video for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. I'll see you next time. Bye!